guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the third time that I've tried to record this video and the lighting won't cooperate. So, here's hoping everything goes well this time. Today's video is a pretty highly requested one and I felt like I couldn't film it before because I wasn't really like showing. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, then you will know that I have a little baby bump now, finally. I am almost 19 weeks. I'll be 19 weeks in like two days from when I'm filming this. Um, so I am excited to be out of that period where maternity clothes like don't really fit you yet, but your old clothes are tight and like uncomfortable. Um, so all of that to say that today we're doing an ASOS maternity haul. My sweet, sweet family got me a bunch of ASOS maternity clothing for Christmas. So um, all this stuff was purchased in December and because of that, a lot of it is on like super mega sale now. So I'll make sure that I link everything in the description so you guys can find it because like, for example, the first item that I'm gonna be talking about, which is the shirt that I'm wearing, is $7 right now on the ASOS site. ASOS, ASOS, I never know which one it is. Should I look it up? Somebody will tell me if I'm wrong, this is the internet. <laughs> but yeah, it's $7 and they still have most sizes available, so a lot of this stuff is a really good deal right now. So yeah, I really like this t-shirt. It's this really pretty light blue color and it has this white and yellow floral like daisy print on it. And I need some color in my wardrobe now because I feel like I've been wearing neutrals all winter long and I'm so sick of them. <laughs> so this is kind of fun because it has the little lettuce hem on the sleeves and the collar and the bottom as well. And it's a nice pretty bright color, a fun floral print, and it's also ribbed. So I can wear this now because it doesn't look that different from a regular t-shirt, but it's also super, super stretchy. So when I get bigger, like in the summer, right before I'm due, this should still fit me, which is really great. So I know I just said I was sick of neutrals, but <laughs> I do love this sweater. Um, this is from the brand New Look, and it's a little like oatmeal colored peplum sweater. I really like the little frilly detailing right here. And I like that this is pretty lightweight because it's good for layering. I wore this when we went to Disneyland and filmed our little gender reveal video. If you guys haven't seen it, there'll be a card up here, I think. But it was super comfortable all day and depending on the temperature, I was able to take my sweatshirt off or put my jacket on or you know, whatever, and stay really comfortable. The one thing I will say about this is that if you have a larger bust, this hem actually sits like a little bit too high on me. It doesn't sit like properly below the boobs where it's supposed to. Um, so if you have like a larger bust, you might wanna size up. Then the next couple of things that I got are for our baby moon. So Matt and I are going to Kauai at the end of February, um, which I'm so excited about to get some sun. Um, it's been so dark and gray here in Seattle and it's kind of a bummer. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I got some cute little sundresses. So this first one, oh, that's backwards. <laughs> this first one is like a spaghetti strap empire waist kind of a deal. Um, and it's just elastic right here. It has this cute little frill at the top. And what I really love about this dress is the big tortoiseshell buttons that go all the way down the skirt. It's midi length. Um, which is really pretty and I also like the stripes because they're not straight up like rainbow They're a little bit more muted than that But it still offers some fun like color and pattern which I think is really awesome again for that one bigger bust ladies Size up. I wish I had gone up one more size, but it's still really really cute Then this dress is kind of out of my like color comfort zone because it's this bright red orange color and it's like a baby doll style short leaves short sleeve dress and it has a little v-neck and then at the very bottom there's a ruffle and i don't think i own anything in this color but i really really loved the ditzy floral print i think is what they call it and i like it because it's really really lightweight so it'll be really easy to throw on over a swimsuit or like even here this summer if i want to go out for a walk and i don't want to like fuss with pants and stuff i'd just be able to throw this on um, and definitely not get sweaty this next thing is a skirt and my sweet younger brother got this for me this is from new look again and it's this like lilac colored floral midi skirt and it's made to look like a wrap skirt so it has the little tie on the side and the hem can i get it in frame 
<laughs> looks like it's a wrap skirt, um, but it's actually an elastic waist, which is really nice. This is definitely still too big for me right now, but I think by the time it's like seasonally appropriate to wear this in a few months, it'll be absolutely perfect for like sitting right on top of the bump. Also in that category of things that are a little bit too big on me right now, but I think will be great um, in the spring and summer is this pair of overalls from ASOS Denim. It's probably ASOS, forgive me. <laughs> These are a really cool pair of cream overalls. And what I really love about these is that they're wide leg. Um, so they kind of remind me of my Madewell Emmett wide leg crop pants, um, which I loved wearing pre-pregnancy and which don't fit me anymore. Um, so this will kind of scratch that itch. And I just love overalls in general. You guys probably have noticed I wear them a lot. We actually got this in um, a size that's bigger than the size that I normally wear because that was all they had left in stock. Um, and I really, really liked them. Um, but I think once I get like a really big tummy, these will be really good towards like the end the end of my pregnancy. This dress is so cute and sweet. So this dress is like this mustard and white striped. Um, again, I think it, the style is called baby doll dress and it has little tiny tortoiseshell buttons all the way um, up the front of it and a cute little v-neck. This one is knit, so it's a little bit thicker um, than the red one is, but still it's not gonna like get me sweaty or anything. This one reminds me of like something you would wear on like the boardwalk in like the 50s. Just something about the pattern is really, really cute and super summery. So I'm really excited to wear that. I'm excited to wear all of this. That's why I keep saying that. But I actually think that this dress is my favorite dress. Um, and it's this super sweet chambray Peter Pan collar dress. And I love the collar on this. Um, I love the sleeves because they have like a little bit of a puff to them, but they're not like straight up puffy sleeves. Again, cute little tortoiseshell buttons. And then I really like where the waist hits on this because it hits um, at like the perfect place to kind of like show off like an early bump. But I also think it's definitely big enough you know that it will be good for a really long time and this just gives me such like vintage vibes and it's so sweet i've actually already worn this with like an oatmeal cardigan over it and i just felt like so like i don't know just like cute and calm and like not trying too hard but still like it looked really cute it's also pretty customizable as far as like how far you want to um like button it up because you could button up all the way or you could unbutton a couple so this is my favorite thing and i can't wait till it's warm enough to actually wear it outside of the house so this next thing is a jumpsuit and this will probably be my baby shower outfit um it just came off the hanger <laughs> this is so so gorgeous it's a square neck linen jumpsuit again it has the kind of puffy sleeves um, and the big tortoiseshell buttons and then this one also has this sweet little waist tie um, and it also has those nice cropped wide legs that I like so much so this piece is basically like I keep dropping the hanger um, all of the things that I like about all of the other things that I got but all combined into one item of clothing I think this is gonna be so, so sweet for my baby shower. Um, I like that it's like light and bright and neutral, so it'll look really cute in pictures. Oh, I'm obsessed. This and this are just like my favorite pieces. So I hit myself in the face with the denim dress. Then I also recently placed an order myself and the stuff just got here. So the first thing that I got is this maternity swimsuit and it is this like blue and white striped one piece and I love bikinis on pregnant women and I'm so excited to like show off my tummy because I think like having a baby bump is so beautiful but I also know that there might be days where like I want it covered up or like maybe I get sunburnt, hopefully not. <laughs> so I also wanted to make sure that I had one one piece that would still fit me while I was pregnant and this one's really basic but the things that I really liked about it were like the tie shoulder I think adds a cute little detail and then I also like that it has a fairly low back so you can still kind of like show some skin and get your tan on but your midsection is covered and I also got a few basic pieces so I got this 
t-shirt which is kind of a funky tan color and I don't own anything else in this color but I kind of like it it's got um, a v-neck on both the front and the back which is really cool because it like adds an extra detail back there but it still covers your bra which is very important because I'm not wearing like a strapless bra or any kind of special bra really while I'm pregnant it's just I don't want to do it <laughs> so I'm filming the try on portion of this and I'm realizing that I probably should have filmed this like at night when my bump is actually like big because I feel like in the morning it's so small but you guys will still get the idea and then I got the ASOS maternity leggings um, these were recommended to me by a few different people on Instagram when I asked like what people's favorite maternity clothes were and I'm really excited about these because my jeans were the first thing where I was like I can't do this anymore this is so uncomfortable I need some maternity pants um, so these are just basic black and they have obviously you know some extra room for your bump in the front and they're thin but they're not like super see-through so for the price I still feel like they were a good deal and then I also got basically that exact same thing but in the biker shorts style um, these are actually a little bit longer than I wanted them to be when I ordered them online um, but I still think that they're pretty cute and I might just hem the bottom so that they're like a couple inches shorter I think these will be really good for working out outside in the spring and summer and also just for like going to the gym I'm late to the biker shorts trend with maternity biker shorts <laughs> So those are all the things that I have from ASOS's maternity department. Let me know if you guys want to see another maternity haul video because I've also been thrifting maternity stuff and all the rest of the stuff that I get for this pregnancy I'm sure will be thrifted. Um, so I would love to share that with you guys if it's something that you're interested in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you have. I hope that you guys have the best rest of your day wherever you are and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!